As investigators piece together what led up to this tragedy, we are learning more about the suspect, Ethan Crumbly. Seven investigator Heather Catalo is digging into the 15 year old's background and Heather joins us now with what she has learned so far. Heather. Carolyn, I'm in the village of Oxford right now where the suspect lives and just like sheriff's officials, police here telling me they had no advance warning about this attack, but we are now learning some very concerning information that school officials met with this. Ethan Crumbly faced a judge Wednesday, just a day after he's accused of gunning down his classmates at Oxford High School. As detectives search for clues about what led up to the shootings, the Oakland County Sheriff confirming what the seven investigators have been learning from several sources, that Oxford High School officials met with the teen and his parents about concerning behavior just hours before the shooting. We had no information from the schools, but we have since learned that the schools did have contact with the student the day before and the day of the shooting for behavior in the classroom that they felt was concerning. In fact, the parents were brought in the morning of the shooting and had a face-to-face -face meeting with the school. Sheriff Michael Bouchard not revealing the topics discussed during that meeting, only that his liaison officer in the school was not told about it. Bouchard also confirming the school allowed Crumbly to stay in the building after that 10 a.m. meeting and around 12.50 p.m. the shooting started. The sheriff previously acknowledged that a handgun shown on a social media account that's believed to belong to the suspect is the same type of weapon used in the murders. But law enforcement are also telling us the 15-year-old has no prior school discipline issues and no prior criminal record. We had no prior context and we had no uh, prior information that uh, this incident would occur. We haven't had any issues with uh, with that family or any weapons in the past. The sheriff also telling us they're now going through mountains of evidence, including notebooks, the suspect's phone, as they try to piece together exactly what motivated this horrific attack. Live in Oxford, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Now let's check in with my colleague, 7 Investigator Ross Jones, with more on what the sheriff had to say today. Heather, good evening. Sheriff Bouchard spent much of his press conference today trying to dispel many rumors that have been circulated on social media, separating fact from fiction one day after this horrific mass shooting. Now, Sheriff Bouchard said that there was no record that the suspect had been bullied at Oxford High School or had reported any bullying behavior. There was also no history of any discipline by the school. The sheriff said there was no evidence that the 15-year-old sophomore had sought treatment for any mental health conditions and was not in the process of doing so. And Bouchard said he has viewed the horrifying surveillance video inside of the school, saying it appears that victims were shot at randomly and were not specifically targeted. He did not release any of that video today, but described the evidence prosecutors will be using in court. He came out of the bathroom, began shooting, moved through hallways, and back through hallways and was apprehended in the hallway. Never went into a room. If you weren't hit by a bullet, doesn't mean you weren't terrorized that day and won't have nightmares about it the rest of your life. Whether you're a parent, a teacher, or a student in that class, um, you know, going through that, that building in the wee hours of this morning, uh, looking at the disarray in the classrooms and the backpacks strewn across the floor, that had to have been an absolutely terrorizing moment in anyone's life. The shooter fired 30 rounds inside of the school and still had 18 bullets left when he was confronted by deputies. There is no consolation for victims' families tonight, but this could have been much worse. Carolyn.